Welcome back. Uh, today we're talking about some of the sporting programs and events of uh, London Tigers, just to highlight and uh, you know, some of them for this year. We've got a couple of new guests, um, so quickly go ahead and introduce our, our two new guests. We've got Salman here, who's actually involved uh, with the London Tigers delivering s some of the projects in Tower Hamlets at the moment, but also involved with the cricket club as well. Yep. So wel welcome on the program. Thank you. Salam. Salam. And then we have here Ratan Bai, who, who you all know, uh, has been involved with leading cr uh, cricket with, with the London Tigers as well as Capital Kids Cricket. So, again, uh, Ratan Bhai, uh, welcome on the program. Thank you, Islam. Uh, uh, salam. And one of the things that, you know, we're, we wanted to um, uh, talk about is, obviously, cricket is coming up now um, for, for the new season. How's the preparation going? Preparation is going really good. We had a friendly game yesterday, and we did good, and we did win the game as well. And for the last... Six weeks, we've been practicing very hard in outdoor, indoor. Last about three, four days practice in a row, which is really good. Okay. And a lot of players coming in this London, looks like. Yesterday we had a game, we saw about eight to ten teams practicing in this one ground. Everyone waiting for one, one after another game, which is really good. So it's going to be a good successful season inshallah. For, for yourself, inshallah? Yes. Inshallah. We have two teams this year for London Tigers on Sundays. And Saturdays we have about two teams as well. Okay, uh, so Ratan Bhai, I mean, one of the uh, things w w we wanted to talk about is some of the major national, international uh, tournaments that you're hosting uh, with, with cricket. So let's talk about the London Six International one. Uh, you know, can you let our view viewers know what that's about? Yeah, London uh, International Six, which is uh, sponsored by ACME uh, from Bangladesh. Uh, it's an event we are running. This is the fifth year we'll be running it, and it's. Uh, it's a fundraising competition, number one. Number two, we are creating a platform where international and first-class players playing with the community-level uh, players. They're competing each other. And I it's a good fun, you know, on the day. And, you know, that they share experience on the, on the field, in the dressing room. So uh, where a lot of community-level players, you know, that they didn't have that opportunity and they dreamed about it. So that it is, it is really a good uh, two-day competition we've been running for the last couple of years. And last two years, we are... In we included female uh, competition a as well alongside with the men so it's 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 getting bigger and bigger and uh, um, it's become one of the uh, focused competition for many many people uh, now people are talking about when it's going to happen you know they're asking us about the dates and etc so uh, this is one of the key competition we've been running but before that uh, next month we are starting uh, T20 Asia Blaze. So th this year we called it Elliot Davis T20 Asia Blaze because Elliot Davis Properties is sponsoring. They become the title sponsor. Um, this is another competition we are running to bring all those South Asian community together. You know that South Asian is playing a key role in this country in cricket and uh, that community is uh, not getting much support from Sports England, from ECB, from the county board um, in terms of finance i should say whatever you do you need finance so london tigers and capital is cricket we thought that we need to do something about these boys because there are participation level um, increasing in south asian but decreasing in the english uh, uh, you know the those who are growing yeah. up the english That's english right. people now but in the international level it's very few inter uh, south asians uh, south asians are playing and in the county level, only 6% of South Asians are playing. So to break that, you know, that there are a lot of things need to be done. So that we thought, let's bring all those t uh, community together. We create T20 Asia Blaze, where India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, the people living and growing up in this country, they are playing under the country's name with the same type of jersey. Uh, and, you know, again, this has become a big uh, talking point. And they wanted to, the young people wanted to play with that pride so that we wanted to inspire, uh, again, young people to give them something they always dream to, you know, uh, play for, for their country. And again, here we allowed international player. We allowed one international or first class player so that, uh, again, uh, Pakistan last year they played Bangladesh. We played international player last year. I hope this year Sri Lanka will bring uh, one of the international. Afghanistan they are planning so I it's again one of the competition we are doing and again there are a lot of people don't know about uh, that uh, we are running it they can see that it's it's happening 
but it's London Tigers and Capital District Cricket, which yeah. is uh, putting huge I effort. think that's where, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, London Tigers might not be blowing their own trumpet in a bigger way because if you think about it, that's two major national, uh, international cricket tournaments that's been hosted. But similar like that, you've got the National U UK Asian Community Cup that you've been organizing with Chelsea football clubs and QPRs and e even this year and you know maybe that's something that you might need to work on and see how we can uh, promote that more often but tell us a little bit about the UK Asian Community Cup the football tournament that y y you're organizing. Yeah this year the UK Asian Community Cup football festival is in partnership with Millwall FC it's the 14th year we're back to Millwall again after a few years um, and the prelim rounds on the 14th at our London Tigers fight uh, sports complex in Southall on the 14th of So that May. will be a bit of a history because that's the first tournament, a major national tournament will be organised in, in the London Tigers sports complex this year. That's right, it's year. great to have our own venue where we can host tournaments and in future we can expand and do other things. At the ground we can host cricket events and football events. Uh, the final is on the main Millwall pitch on Tuesday the 24th of May. Free entry, evening kickoff. Uh, so it's a great opportunity for people from the UK Asian community. It's one of the most talked about prestigious tournaments. Previously, the final was at Chelsea five years in a row. So it's well known, well respected. Teams from up north come down, from South England across. And it's the idea is to provide the opportunity for people to play in professional stadiums. And hopefully, if someone gets scouted, they can move onwards and upwards. Similarly, with the cricket competitions, I think ECB have now recognised what we do. Uh, they are supporting in terms of giving us some access to the ECB boardroom to launch the uh, Elliot Davis T20 Asia Blaze on the 12th of May uh, where the High Commissioners are coming down and they're going to be handing over the jersey to each country. So the Bangladesh High Commissioner will give the Bangladesh jersey, Pakistan High Commissioners will send, give the Pakistan jersey. So we are getting that kind of recognition but I think there's still a long way to go. There's people out there who are national bodies who, who claim to represent cricket nationally within the South Asian community and they're just talking shops they're not really doing much and I think CKC has been a delivery body doing stuff London Tigers is a delivery body we don't like to talk we just do activities and we should publicize our work more so we get further recognition but I think in terms of delivery uh, we, we're two of the leading organizations. So, so similar to like that let's talk about some of the projects then so then every, everyone will be uh, you know aware of some of the programs you're running. I mean, one of the ones I, uh, I wanted to highlight is a Sporting Land project that you're running with uh, Brentford and QPR and Kick It Out. And obviously on that one, you've got the cricket arm with the uh, Middlesex Cricket Board yeah. and, and a few others. So if you can so quickly hi highlight that. So for example, someone like Sporting Land, they have a statutory duty to get people active and participating more. So we put an application to do a project in Southall where the new London Tigers uh, sports complex was we invested 2.2 million pounds to create an 11 a size 3g pitch two cricket pitches uh, nets tennis courts um, so we put a bid in and we put a partnership bid with qpr brentford who are the local clubs in the area middlesex cricket board and ckc are our cricket partners um, and the idea is we engage 1800 people over three years and we get them active and involved and then we signpost them to other clubs that exist so either they join our internal program or we find another club that's in their locality where they can carry on their interest and just get people active and involved. It's important to get people active and busy. It's good for their health. It's good to get them to meet people to increase their confidence. And, uh, you know, it will help change uh, problems and address gangs and antisocial behavior and those kinds of things. So it's trying to create the social change. So that's one project we're doing. We've just been awarded a new project I just had a meeting today with the Mayor of London's office. We're going to try and engage 2,200 girls and women. This is a much forgotten community. You know, a lot of the sports is male dominated. So we're now going to be engaging with girls and women, particularly from Bangladeshi, Arabic speaking and Somali backgrounds, trying to get them involved in uh, sports and getting them participating regularly. So that's at least nine sessions in, in, a, in a three month period. So that's what we're looking to do. And it's a huge target and that's working across London. So anyone out there who thinks, you know, they're interested in doing a girls project, contact us. And the other age group is thinking about our elderly senior people um, who are 40 years and above. There's a lot of people who are over 40 and want to play, but they don't know how to go about it. 
Uh, there are some programs where there's over 40 football, over 40 cricket. But if we can expand this, mm. if we can get people healthy at that I think many people age, will be interested. What, uh, what do you think, Ratan Bhai? Possible. Over 40 cricket, I think many of our community people will, you know, will, will be interested. There are definitely, because uh, there are a lot of people out there, they, they are still interested. And, you know, yeah. there are a lot of young people are playing. So, that you know, that over 40s, yes. who are it's reaching 50, one. for them, it's, it's sometimes it's become difficulties. And, and because of the workload, that the evening games are getting popular. Uh, the last man stand type uh, competition, you know, yeah, that that's uh, right. it is short form. You come and play, you spend about two hours in a day and in, in, you finish the game. So that these are the things that are happening. Uh, while we are talking about the events, we just uh, supposed to have an event last Saturday, which has unfortunately uh, uh, rained off um, the East London Faith Festival, multi faith festival, where we have we supposed to get about 200 kids uh, coming and playing together from different faith and this is the one of the largest multi-faith uh, cricket festival we've been running for last uh, two years this was the third year this is rescheduled on 30th of may bank holiday monday so that again uh, any uh, faith group can come and contact us and you know they can join that uh, festival we will have uh, east london uh, uh, cricket carnival again on bank holiday monday so there will be big event, East London, uh, Essex uh, supporting this Essex second 11 playing against South Asian uh, 11. We have uh, put forward some of our players uh, from the London Tigers, at least three of them will be representing that team, So, which is uh, uh, positive things. There are a lot of things uh, happening in this uh, part of London, particularly in East London, um, starting from Red Bridge, uh, Tower Hamlets, uh, Newham, Waltham Forest, in this patch. Uh, we, Capital Disc Cricket, along with London Tigers, working in partnership with Essex, uh, that, that the project Jawa was talking about Mayor's Participation Fund, Essex is one of our That's right, partner yeah. on this project, and Essex is giving their support to make sure that this project happens. We will have uh, females, we will have uh, um, inclusion groups, we will have uh, over 40s, so there are a lot of things coming up. So. Uh, so we would very exciting times That's uh, right. yes, coming up. for London Tigers coming up. Is it in line with the 30th anniversary? Yeah, obviously the reason why we've had a big push this year. London Tigers established in 1986. There go, we're 30 years old now. And this year we're having a big push, lots of activities going on. So every event is going to be big. One of the big events that we're looking to do in the summer holidays, I've spoken to the other branches of the London Tigers subsidiary. So Birmingham Tigers, Oldham Tigers. Luton Tigers, uh, they'll all be coming down to our sports complex and this year on the bank holiday weekend in uh, August we're going to have a big Tigers family day out where there'll be football, there'll be cricket, there'll be tug of war and musical chairs and everything, not just for the boys, for the ladies, for the children, so it's a big sports festival, there's a coach full coming from Birmingham and a coach full coming from Oldham, so it should be a good day out and it's a good way to show and spread our message across the UK. So. Anyone wants to come down, come down on that day. Well, Saman, you know, tell us about your project because you're, you're delivering something in Tower Hamlets that you're involved now with London Tigers. Um, obviously, you're a, you're a cricketer, the main leading, you know, cricketing person for the club. But, uh, you know, tell us the work that you're doing now with London Tigers because you're involved with, with and them the now. The project called the MSG project in Tower Hamlets mainly. Uh, so basically, I have, I'm running the male side. There's a puppy called, that's my puppy running the, female side right. so on the male side i'll do the kids eight to age eight eight to fifteen and adult side adults as well so basically what we do in the park we play football cricket badminton and mainly to people like not doing enough sports outside so get them involved come and play some football badminton and get them fit okay um uh, Rathambay, I mean, one of the things that I, w I wanted to actually, um, you, you know, hi highlight is, is about uh, volunteers and getting coaches involved. Because one of the things that uh, you've been successful with is, is getting uh, people like Salman, really, as players and getting them involved in uh, full-time work with MCB, Essex. Uh, I, as, as far as I know, there's, there's a diverse range of players that are now working uh, with different people. Can, can I think you let us know a little bit about that? This is one of our key success. And again, this is a hidden success people don't know how it happens you know that in 
if you talk about East London, I think we have got uh, o over 20 level 2 coaches, more than that, about 30, I should say. And there are lots of level 1, a lot of... Uh, and they're all more or less working that's from right. part-time to full-time. That's really, right. They're really more, more or less. Just cricket delivery. And, and I this happened within the last five, six years, and it, it's never happened before. So, of course, it was our, our work as an organization, as a capital case cricket, as with London Tigers, uh, we work together and we, we, we run so many so much of program and after qualification we could give them the work. So that was the added benefit. M not many other organizations other than the governing body have this capability. Mm -hmm. And I think um, last five years we have given over 30 people's work opportunity. From there they make made already career out of it. They are working for the county board, they are working uh, full time, they are working you know uh, fixed hour uh, and with capital kids cricket at times we used to have about 40 coaches used during the summer so um, there are there are good workforce uh, came up so that for the young people who wanted to uh, you know the make career out of cricket come and you know talk to us you need to do some volunteering volunteering without volunteering we cannot run our organization. Uh, particularly, organization. particularly like here as an example, probably about what eight, ten, um, you know, people are involved with the cricket boards, re really, yeah. as, as delivery. That's right. For so example, for London Tigers, we got uh, uh, two, three volunteers always working for the club. All right, uh, Salman, mm. he's now working, but he was a volunteer for many years. Yeah, that's Shimon right. Shimon Sharif, there is a, uh, our yeah. captain. He's been volunteering for for many years. There are a few others. The Tower Hamlet Cricket Club, we got three or four volunteers. They, they start as a player, they are working uh, as a volunteer, and they're managing the team, which is unique. You know, that uh, you won't find many places. Absolutely you know, right. You know, this Ab stuff. Absolutely right. But I think similarly like that, Jawa, uh, you know, many people have started as a volunteer w with an organization. And, and p particularly if that's a sport that you enjoy, whether it's football or cricket, um, and you turn that into a career, there is opportunities out there. And within London Tigers, there's been so many opportunities there, particularly with the Evening Standard, uh, the, the football coaches development program. So, you know, can, can, can you tell us a little bit about that? That's right. I mean, last year, the Evening Standard run a London Unity project, which London Tigers was a member, one of the key members. And we trained up uh, level one coaches who were then deployed and did programs and delivery in South Hall and Central London. And some of them were chosen to do level two and move on. And in the last segment, we talked about people like Valdez, Georgie, Eddie, who started as volunteers and who really progressed their careers and they're working internationally. So the progression routes are definitely there for people who want to volunteer. And volunteering is really important because it gives you skill sets that are transferable. And I think that's important. The London Tigers is not just a football club, but it's an organization that's helping people develop their skills and careers and giving them something that they can use to move on. And Lo uh, London Tigers is like a stepping stone for the players and volunteers, and I think that's important. But also, uh, you know, giving them opportunities, you know, you've taken them to, you know, a fascinating trip to the 2011 ICC Cricket World Cup to Bangladesh, where, you know, many of the cricketers had a fantastic experience of playing in top-notch facilities yeah. uh, of Bangladesh, where the Bangladesh Academy teams yeah. actually play on, but also being part of the opening ceremony of the 2011 World Cup. Yeah, that was one of the uh, very successful trip, and we had very good players and uh, good mentors with the team. You know, the England International went with the team and some of the very good uh, right. uh, young players, uh, and they everybody got benefit out of it. We are planning another trip during uh, October when the England team is touring to Bangladesh. So we are planning to have similar sort of uh, a trip where we'll be playing against very good opposition uh, over there. And at the same time, you know, they will be supporting uh, uh, England team because uh, we are from Bangladesh. We wanted to uh, make sure that uh, we go there and you know, try to help them as much as and support them. Of course, we'll be supporting Bangladesh to win <laughs> anyway. Uh, but, you know, th I, I think that will be a good fun. And, you know, we'll be linking up this with the London Tigers 30 years of um, you know, uh, 30th, 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 30th anniversary. But, but I think it's important to say London Tigers is not just for the Bengali community. We've managed to, on those tours and the football tours that we do, when the football team goes over to Bangladesh, 20 people go over, 10 of them are non Bengalis. That's 10 people going to see Bangladesh, the beauties of Bangladesh, Cox Bazaar. They're going to, uh, you know, they're going to Jaflong. They're going to the different places. They're playing in front, in Hobby Goyne, in front of 30,000 people. One, one of our coaches, Amandos, who's our first team manager, 
he still says, I'll never score in front of 30,000 people again. You know, so that experience of the non Bengalis going to Bangladesh is unique, and the cricket tour is the same. It's a mixture of integrating Bengalis and non Bengalis, talented cricketers to go out there and experience our culture and develop themselves. So it's, it's more than just uh, taking the team over. It's spreading, you know, the, the positive messages of Bangladesh and showing what we can offer. But also creating bridges. I mean, re realistically, because of that tours and because of that relationship, we're actually building relationship with clubs and governing bodies of, you know, other countries as well. So I think, well, you, you know, one of the things that we wanted to highlight is when, when uh, the Conservative Party uh, Social Action Projects launched in 2010. Do you, do you remember when you uh, set up the, uh, the cricket centres and then yeah. we launched the under-16 one? So, you know, things like that, it, it, you know, it helps us. Uh, helps you cement uh, relationship, uh, you know, abroad as well. Yeah, of course. Uh, there are there are so many things can be that done. That was a yes, classic uh, one. Seven MPs. That's uh, right. Uh, you, you know, know and, and to, to be part country of the like country like Bangladesh uh, and you know, the in subcontinent, you know, that they, there are so much can be done. There are so much uh, opportunities are there because people wanted to play sports, get get uh, involved in particularly with the cricket, and because of the infrastructure, because of the um, the finances, sponsorship, you know, the support. There are not many things uh, they can do. You know, the we gave some donation uh, to the cricket centers, and uh, s the divisional secretaries were saying that their first class team didn't have this sort of thing. Mm. These are the very basic things. So that we wanted to, you know, the keep doing these sort of things in future and uh, for mutual benefit. All right, and we get our our we take our people from here, and they they have some sort of experience. At the same time, they but get. But this is also making a huge social impact uh, yeah. on on people's lives. I mean, that's the whole motto of London Tigers, yeah. really, right. uh, creating opportunities, fulfilling dreams. That's right, and that's what it's about: creating opportunities, fulfilling dreams. And the people we work with, they're playing in the paddy field. In, in the Gaugram, in the Zomin. So okay, let's talk about the under-16s because we, so we're running out of so time. So yeah, so the, we had an under-16 football project from Silet playing in the Dhaka Pioneer League, unique project. And from that project, five players were chosen for the National Academy Trials for the under-19s. And one player, Moshahid Ahmed, he's actually got selected. He's got a contract and he's playing in the Bangladesh Football uh, Federation Academy based in Silet. So he's one player whose life is settled. But from that squad, 18 of the players in the last four years where we've run this program are earning a living playing football so it's not just about just finding the players giving the opportunity but people's lives have changed their families have an income and they can run and, and survive and the Pi Dhaka Pioneer League project which unites the greater Silet community it's a unique project that London Tigers took the initiative and hopefully that will carry on and this year being the 30th anniversary hopefully we can expand that and do some more programs we've also got a girls school in Biani Bazar where there was no education for girls in the area and a, a free free girls school was set up for uh, up to a, a metric level okay and the, the, the other thing is obviously talking about all these international relationship um, you just got a recent invite from one of the chief ministers in Bangalore uh, to go to India and that's particularly an invitation for the semi pro side because they, they, they've got teams coming from Sri Lanka Nepal Bhutan uh, I, I think everyone's looking forward to that because obviously when a chief minister of India who's really powerful, they're in charge of their region, is hosting a tournament and it's such an honour for London Tigers to get that recognition and I think it's testament our international work isn't just in Bangladesh, we have some work in Andhari province, in Maharashtra district in India and we're looking to expand in that area so hopefully that will be a good success and a good chance for us to do well and prove in the Indian subcontinent, expand the London Tigers name. Okay, uh, Ratan Bhai, so going to be a good cricket season. You know, yes, we are. We've got to wrap up now. We are looking forward. Unfortunately, the first 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 festival was rained off, but hopefully, finger crossed. We have got many uh, many things to do. We we got uh, uh, Saturday teams with the Tower Hamlets, uh, Sunday teams with the London Tigers. We got Spikes Big Spurs. There are uh, new programs are coming up. We are starting uh, uh, with the school programs there. We got T uh, Twenty Asia Blaze, uh, where Elliot David is sponsoring. We got uh, uh, London uh, yeah. London Sixes. Wide so range. There are, there are many range. things coming up, and of course, the two coming up uh, in October. Yeah, all excited. Uh, uh, Salman, uh, you have, have you got any anything to add on? Oh, if we anyone wants to come and join us to play on Sundays on on the leagues, please call us and contact us.
Okay, Jawa, yeah. anything else? Yeah, just contact us, visit us on Facebook, London Tigers. So, anybody wants website. to follow, because obviously, one of the reasons why we're having this uh, d discussion is to inspire others in their d different areas. We've got many Bangladeshi community across the country that, you know, can be doing similar kind of programs of London Tigers g g going on. So, if people wanted to follow uh, and find out more, more, more about so how they can do it, they just need to visit our website, www.londontigers.org, or just find us on Facebook, London Tigers. I'm sure many of you know us. Just send us a message. We'll reply to you and we'll try and help you as best as we can. We've helped other branches in Birmingham, in Oldham, in Luton and Portsmouth. So we're always happy to share our knowledge and help the programs expand in other areas. Okay, well, thank you all for jo joining in. Um, the next program of Sporium will be based on the Sporium Badminton National Competition, uh, which is going to be on the 1st of May. So hopefully uh, we'll catch up with you all then. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.